Welcome back. In episode one, we nailed down the basics of AI. It's a system that learns patterns from data. Simple enough, right? But here's the thing. The moment you start thinking about it, you feel this weird disconnect. Like on one side, we've got the AI that we use every day. The one that corrects the spelling, recommends a film, or filters spam from your inbox. It is useful, yeah. But honestly, the novelty can wear off quite quickly. And on the other side, there's the AI from the headlines and the movies. The one that people say would be smarter than us and maybe even take over the world. Now that's the idea of artificial general intelligence, or some people call it AGI. Now these aren't just two different tools, they're two entirely different visions of what intelligence can mean. And between them, there's a huge messy gap. So today we're going to stand at the edge of that gap and really look into it technically, economically and philosophically. So let's start with the AI that we actually have narrow AI. So these are systems that specialize. They're amazing at one thing and pretty much useless at everything else. So most of today's powerful AI systems, like deep learning models, work in what's called a sub-symbolic way. Now that sounds complex, but here's the simple idea. They don't reason with abstract concepts the way we do. They don't think about justice or friendship. Instead, they learn patterns in data and then use statistical probability to decide what comes next. Think about a language model writing something. It's not thinking about the meaning, but it's just navigating a giant probability map of words, predicting the next most likely word based on the ones before. And that's why you sometimes get perfectly written nonsense. The words sound right, but they don't hold up when you check them. And here's the catch. Narrow AI can get better and better at its one task if you give it more data and more computing power, but it can't take what it's learned in one area and apply it in another. The system that's world-class at spotting cancer in scans can't use that skill to be a chess master. Now, on the other side of the gap, we have AGI, so the dream with AI that can learn and adapt across any domain the way that we do. Uh, one of the hardest technical problems here is generalization across domains. So us, humans, are naturals at this. If you learn to ride a bike, you can figure out how to ride a motorcycle. You learn chess, you can pick up checkers. So we apply older knowledge to new problems, but narrow AI struggles with that. Yes, there's limited transfer learning, like training a vision model on cats and then adjusting it for dogs. But true AGI would jump freely between completely unrelated skills without retraining. And that's a mountain we don't yet know how to climb. And then there's the hard problem of consciousness. The puzzle of how a physical brain produces the feeling of being me. AGI doesn't have to be conscious to work. That's a philosophical debate altogether, not a technical requirement. But if you could think across domains, people would naturally ask, will it also feel? Now, the truth is, we can't even answer that for ourselves. So that leads us to think, if AGI is still hypothetical, why all the hype? Well, because there's a race and the prize is huge. The real money today is in narrow AI. So automating tasks, optimizing logistics, predicting markets. But the hype about the prospect of AGI helps companies raise money, uh, attract top talent and justify moving fast. This creates an incentive misalignment or in other words, a tragedy of the commons of safety. So if one company slows down to ensure safety, another might just race ahead. And the dangers like mass job loss or catastrophic failure would hit everyone. But the rewards, they go just to that one. And this brings us to something important. AI doesn't care. It has no values, no conscious, no stake in the outcome. The values come from us. So the real question isn't, will AI be good or evil? It's what kind of people will we become as we build it? So on the technical side, are we using fair representative data or are we baking in our own biases? On the social side, are we using AI to connect people or to replace connection, to spread opportunity or concentrate power? Remember, AI is a mirror. The more powerful it gets, the more it reflects who we are. And that's why it matters. Because when we understand what's on either side of this AI potential, narrow AI and AGI, we can start having smarter, more honest conversations. So in episode three, we'll zoom in on the most hyped and misunderstood form of narrow AI, large language models. 
We'll explore how they really work, why they seem human, and whether they even have a connection to the truth. See you there.